Hi there, here is Shai. There are different systems for assembling the Shimano shifters to the handlebars or the Shimano shifters and the brakes to the handlebars. And so on this episode, I'm going to show you the three that are available right now. I will mention also the previous generation uh, and we'll talk about the compatibility and something that is really dumb in my opinion. Sorry Shimano, this is, this is a critics. I am promoting lots of your stuff that I just buy myself, write and review. But what you do with the iSpec, uh, I think you should change the name from iSpec to iSpent because I will show my viewers uh, what you will probably do on the fourth and the fifth generation of the iSpec. All right, these are the SLX sh uh, sh shifters. Um, as you can see on the boxes, we have different options marked. The first one, that's the most common, the, the, the most known one, it says optical gear display. It should say the uh, clamp actually. So that will be uh, the shifter with the clamp that you assemble just separately uh, with the brakes uh, on the handlebar. Then the second system we have here is the iSpec B, okay, it's marked right there. A select shifter, 11 speed, um, the right one, uh, iSpec B. And then the third that we have here, that's the one in the middle, that's iSpec 2. Now, if you wanna buy shifters and the brakes, you need, you need to match the system uh, of the brakes, or I will show you the SLX as well with the system that the shifters are. And here is the compatibility of iSpec systems. iSpec 2, easy. Just <laughs> hear me out very carefully. iSpec 2, this is easy because iSpec 2 is only iSpec 2 compatible. So the newest stuff, if you buy either of these, you will need to match it with the newest uh, brakes or shifter. iSpec 2 is only iSpec 2 compatible okay uh, when we go back um, the previous generation because iSpec 2 as the model indicates is the third generation of iSpec uh, just within the couple of years the previous one was iSpec B and now important thing iSpec B is of course compatible with iSpec B brakes but also iSpec A so iSpec B shifters these shifters will be compatible with either iSpec B brakes or iSpec A, the first generation brakes. But uh, if you have iSpec A shifters, this will be only iSpec A brakes compatible. All right. So B shifters, both uh, B and A brakes, A shifter, only A brakes because of the one little hook that, that is there uh, on the brakes. Okay, uh, so these are the systems. Now, if you want to pair Shimano shifters with other brands brakes like Magura, I have XT shifters on my FSI with the uh, SRAM guide brakes, then we use the clamp one. Beca because if we have the um, just additional clamp on the shifter, you will use the clamp of the shifter and the clamp of the brake and I will show you that in the second and then we'll see what ideas I have for iSpec 4, iSpec 5 and it will come, believe me, it will. And here are our three systems. This is the clamp one, the most common one or the oldest one. Uh, this is the uh, shifter that will be compatible with different uh, brakes of other brands like Magura or other brands. Uh, this is the clamp. So. Our shifter will be simply assembling, assembled on the handlebar, just like that. And then the other clamp we need for our uh, braking lever. So that's the clamp one. Then we have iSpec B, so the second generation. If it was iSpec um, A system, right here there would be a little hook. And that hook uh, makes the iSpec a shifter not compatible with iSpec B brakes, whereas this shifter iSpec B will be iSpec A brakes compatible. Uh, this system comes also with a with special pin and the bolt that we can use for assembling together the uh, shifter and the brake. And here is the newest incarnation, the iSpec 2, that means third generation. 
as you can see it looks so much uh, different uh, here also we can see that the, um, the iSpec 2 will give us um, a wider range of uh, adjustment but uh, let me show you how do we uh, put it all together this is the uh, brake uh, with the iSpec 2 system in order to open this clamp we need to push this little pin there and now the brakes come with such a shim a plastic one and we need to remove it and uh, just instead of this shim now we will put here the iSpec um, 2 compatible uh, shifter and then we just close it like that and we'll be able to assemble a whole thing to our handlebar right, right so it comes just like that hmm? and so uh, you might be uh, a biker that uh, likes to uh, brake with the two fingers so probably uh, your brakes will be closer to the edge of the of the handlebar and then you can you can use the adjustment on the shifter in order to to find the right position for your fingers if you are one finger uh, braking biker probably you're gonna have uh, you, you will want to have those brakes a bit uh, um, closer to, like inwards on your, of your handlebar and then your shifters uh, can be uh, adjusted now the dumbest thing about this is that if you want to readjust the shifter you have to uh, remove it uh, I thought that uh, one of the updates from the iSpec B to iSpec 2 will be something less dumb than this but this is dumb in my opinion it is really dumb we've we've had iSpec A, iSpec B, iSpec 2 people are buying so much stuff and still this is this is just wrong so here's what I think here's what what Shabak would tell you there will be iSpec 3 system where this bolt will not be uh, vertical but will be horizontally um, positioned which is which would be super easy I'm not a designer uh, I've I haven't designed shifters myself uh, in my life but uh, why don't we have this bolt just like that it would be so much easier another update perhaps on iSpec 4 sorry for criticizing I'm promoting your stuff Shimano a lot but this is just dumb will be also in my opinion I will tell you what it will be removal of this also dumb pin uh, let's just open this okay we have this little little thing here it goes into this hole that means that we are unable to adjust the angle of our shifter because it has to be like that so they will remove this pin they will make this hole just uh, just longer so that we'll be able to um, uh, position the shifter and perhaps there will be some little grooves on this so that it will just uh, be fastened together very well just as it's been done for years on the seat post uh, where we uh, where we uh, adjust the, the tilting of our saddle it would be extremely easy to do and the i spec for perhaps i spec 5 even won't be compatible with i spec 2 that's what i think sorry shimano you have to just fix it because this is this is already third generation in what just a couple of years and it's still far from being just easy and smart that's my take on iSpec systems uh, let me know what you think in the comments thanks for joining shine bye bye, -bye.